Prince William, he obviously has a lot on his plate at the moment, both personally and officially, with Prince, Princess Catherine being out of action. But a great report this week about the launch of a new Garden City project to help tackle the housing crisis. We've got a housing crisis that feels like everywhere in the Western world. Can you tell us about this particular project? Well, certainly. I mean, we're well adept at uh, understanding sort of our own housing crisis. I know it's a big problem in Australia as well. And uh, the Prince of Wales has said that not only there's a housing crisis, lack of social housing, the homelessness problem is on the rise here in the UK. And he wants to try and sort of solve this issue. Of course, he's taking over the big £1 billion estate of the Duchy of Cornwall, and he's talking about making social housing projects on that. And they have found some land that they bought a few years ago for the Duchy. He's actually created this project by his father when he was in charge of the Duchy as Prince of Wales. But William is trying to take this through to the next level. How can we build more affordable housing in this country? How can we, you know, um, make sort of big housing estates on land that is not being used, not necessarily in the countryside, which is well protected here in the UK, but trying to free up space and trying to give people better opportunities. So this is going to take part in the Kent countryside in the south of England. It's a great project. The local council were very, very uh, behind it. And I think that it could be one of many projects for the Prince of Wales. And I think, you know, ultimately, he's trying to do something good. He's trying to do something for social housing, trying to end homelessness, as he's saying. And it's a, it's a big project to take on. But, uh, you know, he's possibly the right man at the right time to do it. Now, on this show, we love a historical royal scandal, as you well know, Russell. And uh, Frances, the Duchess of Rutland, has passed away this week at the age of 86. Now, she had quite an eventful life, particularly insofar as it concerned her relationship with her mother. Uh, can you tell us about it? Well, absolutely indeed. I mean, this is straight out of a sort of storybook of the early crown that gri gripped everybody. And it really has sort of gripped high society back in the 1960s, as you say, um, uh, Frances, the Duchess of Rutland, sadly passing away last week at the age of 86. But it was her mother, Margaret, the Duchess of Argyle, who really created a stir in British society during the 1960s when she divorced her second husband. Now, uh, of course, the talk of higher society was all why she was divorcing. That went to trial. She was then labelled a harlot and a, a mistress of several men, alleged to have had more than 88 affairs over their 12-year marriage. And it sort of completely destroyed the relationship with her daughter, who has taken these sort of secrets of, the, of her relationship with her mother to the grave. She never spoke about it publicly. But um, Margaret's story was uh, played in the, in the drama, a very British scandal by Claire Foy, who played the Queen in the early uh, series of The Crown. So, you know, very fascinating insight into sort of how high society is still being talked about uh, many, many decades later. And it's a, certainly, if you haven't seen Very British Scandal, I highly, highly recommend it. And certainly Margaret's story was one for the ages. Now, bringing us back to something a little more uh, a little more recent, I suppose, and a great piece in the Mirror this week about William and Kate and their modern parenting style. Again, is this one of those things which just makes them more relatable to a younger demographic? Yeah, certainly. I think they're breaking the mould. I mean, you talk about Princess of Wales being in hospital and uh, the fact that uh, William had also cancelled his engagements, very, very keen to be there for his children. You know, the, the three children not necessarily able to visit their mother in hospital as, uh, as much as they would like. They're obviously at school. Um, but, you know, William sort of taking a step back has really broken the mould. We wouldn't have expected, you know, the, the Duke of Edinburgh to do that for the Queen or vice versa. And I think that when you look at William and Kate, they're very, very of the the modern family uh, role that they're trying to give their children as normal as upbringing as possible. They understand that their lives will be lived in the spotlight. There will be very, very uh, astute responsibility, especially for George and Charlotte and possibly Louis if they all become working royals as well. But for, for the family unit, it's very, very important to them to try and have a bit of normality as much as possible. And I think that William has been very, very much celebrated in that role of sort of juggling parenthood, juggling his wife being in hospital and obviously his responsibilities. Like we talked about, his big projects are homelessness, the environment issues that he's uh, he's fighting for as well. So, you know, they, they, it's, a, it's a brave new world for the royals. And I think that William is uh, sort of putting his best foot forward and trying to uh, trying to give a good account of the, the modern man and the modern family as well.
Russell Myers, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, my pleasure.